Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have another Shein bag haul. This is kind of like my Shein bag haul part three, as a lot of people seem to like my other ones. I sort of did my first one on a whim. I was just so in awe of all the bags on Shein for affordable prices. And then I ended up doing a second one, so I'm here today doing a third one. I saw a couple of people ask specifically, not a lot of people, but a couple, and I thought, you know what? I'll do it for you people and I'm not gonna lie I'm I mean it excites me doing these kind of videos anyway so yeah if you'd like to see this video then please carry on watching I must admit I don't think you're ready if you've seen my first or second June bag haul I've got a lot more today basically there are a lot I kind of like with my first bag haul I feel like I still get a lot of comments to this day saying oh this bag isn't available anymore so I kind of the reason I keep doing more is so that you can see what is available now even though they're not going to be on the website forever so I mean it does annoy me a little bit but it's just the way it is so I still get people now on my first video saying I can't get a hold of these bags and I'm like I'm sorry I have so many to show you I literally can't so we have got bag number one is this one here so this bag was a five pounds and 12 pence like can you even so if you can tell I was obviously drawn in by this pattern if I'm gonna be honest it's like a canvassy material but I can feel on the bottom where like the pipeline comes out a bit too much I don't know if I'm describing that well enough like it comes out of it if that makes any sense I do love the colour of this I think it's beautiful I love that it's gold detailing you then get do you just get a small strap I think so so you just get this little small strap so it is just a little little tiny shoulder bag I feel like I've ordered quite a few bags like this and I do really love the design and the colour of this I really can't talk for this long for every bag because there are a lot yeah I love the way it looks this is definitely one of those kinds of bags and I feel like there'll be a lot like this that I love the way it looks but in terms of the feel I'm not too sure about this one Ooh, I'm excited about this one this one looks cute so this bag was £12.42 and she looks like this so she's a little bit more but I feel like I can understand a little bit why. Um, the handle is sort of a bit, I don't know if you can see, it only starts off in the middle, it's like not from the ends. <laughs> like I'm not explaining this well at all. It's like attached here. I love that it's a very yellow gold, um, the colour and the quilting. I'm so obsessed with anything that's quilted at the moment, can't even tell you. So you get quite a lot of space in this one compared to the last one and you get a little zip in the middle. Yeah, so you also get a long strap with this one. Oh my God, that is so cute. The only thing is I don't think this would fit over my shoulder. It would just be, it would either be a shoulder bag moment or you're just holding it with your hand, which makes me a little bit sad, but at the same time, it is very, very cute. I really, really like this one. It literally feels like Christmas and wrapping all of these bags. <laughs> So this next bag was £4.75, so we're just getting cheaper and cheaper over here basically. She looks like this. How adorable is this pattern, can I just first say? I've been loving a brown, I must admit, and this pattern I feel like is just gorgeous. A few things which I'm going to say are a little bit annoying is here at the end, I feel like where the zip ends is in a bit of annoying space. I don't know if you can see that, it kind of, you've just got this little flap, which is like a little bit annoying. Um, and I kind of noticed that straight away. And then also this strap is, I mean, I know most bags that are like this don't have a very structured strap. Um, and obviously when you hold it like that, it's fine. That's just one thing to note. It is just a small strap, I believe, yeah. See, my only thing about this bag I guess would be is that I do usually prefer a bit more of a structured bag. It's just very quite flimsy, but I do really, really like this pattern. Oh my God. This next one is £2.93. Hmm. I, this was kind of one of the bags I was most excited for, but there was something I didn't quite notice about it. So it's this, 
like white quilted bag with a black handle. I didn't notice that it had this black chain on it before. I didn't see that on the picture because uh, I was really initially just excited for this because I just thought it was so cute and basic. Um, obviously quite a small amount of space. I just thought this was so, so cute. But yeah, I'm not too sure about the strap, but at the same time, it'll be quite a good shoulder bag as well. Possibly might even be able to get it over your head. And for £2.93, I mean, I don't know if you can go wrong with that. This next bag is £9.86. And as we can see, we've got a little cute structured bag here in this beautiful beige colour. It does have a little bit of writing here. Um, it's all gold hardware, so where it's blue here actually is gold underneath. I know it sort of takes away from the vision a little bit. I love these handles, they sort of look like they've been weaved a bit. They do go off to the side a bit, but I mean I'm sure you could just pull them into sort of like the right shape. I'm hoping this comes with a long strap, I'm pretty sure it does. Yes, it comes with a long strap as well, but if I'm going to be honest, I think it kind of, it looks cuter as like a, a little purse handbag if you know what I mean. You get like a decent amount of space in there, but it is quite small. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these bags, I don't even know if my wallet would fit in. Um, but then again, I do have quite a big wallet. I just honestly think the patterns, the texture, everything about it is actually quite nice quality. I really love these weaved handles. So yeah, I think this is possibly one of my favorites so far, actually. This next bag was £8.77. And I don't know if you can tell, but they are kind of trying to dupe the Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag, uh, for sure. Like, I'm sorry, but like from the picture on the website, it even looks even more so like a dupe. In person, not so much. I don't know if you can see the pattern, but they're actually like circular rather than checkered, but it's sort of like optical illusion because I think far away, you'd think it was checkered maybe, but up close it's not. This is actually very, very cute. I think maybe the handles are verging on orange, not gonna lie, rather than tan. But apart from that, I do think it's quite cute little style bag. If you are looking for a dupe of the Louis Vuitton Alma, perhaps. Does it come with a strap? I'm pretty sure it's meant to come with a strap in the picture. Um, mine actually hasn't got a strap, so in the picture it definitely does come with a long-handed strap, so you're going to have to just imagine that for now. But yeah, personally, probably not something I would keep just because of the colour tones, like it's just a bit too orangey in person, personally. But when it comes to like the shape and the quality, I actually think this is a really, really cute style bag and... I mean, for £8, you're going to be saving a lot more money than buying the Louis bag. <laughs> oh my god. So this bag was £8.40. I'm just so fascinated by the shape of this bag, like look at what a structured handle that is. I feel like you could obviously put this on your shoulder. Um, I love the shape of this bag, I just think it's really really cute. Um, I love the pattern. I don't know if you get a long handle. No you don't. I mean to be fair I do you think it would be a bit weird wearing this long handle, I don't think it would really work because you have this big strap. But um, I do think this is really, really cute and different. I feel like the structure of it is quite good. There's just something quite unique about it and I love a unique bag from Shein. Like, I know I've gotten quite a few basic bags, but most of the time the bags I end up keeping from Shein are the kind of bags I feel like I can't get anywhere else because it just makes it a little bit more worth it in my head, like most of the bags from Shein that I've actually kept and not gotten rid of are just the most unique bags, so I don't know, I really really like this one. So the next bag is £8.04, so it's this brown croc bag with this pearl little strap which I think is super cute because obviously you can hold it like that, I mean how adorable is that? I do have a little thing for pearls, but you also could just be holding it like this. And then you get this quite long, thick strap, um, so you can have it on a long strap, and then you don't get a huge amount of space inside, I feel like it is quite a small amount of space, but I feel like this bag in particular it is mainly like, <laughs> for the aesthetic, if not all of these. Like by no means would this be a day bag, it would definitely be like more of an evening bag because you can't really fit too much in it. But I really really do love this pearl detailing. Um, it's gone a bit weird here though, I feel like you have to try and not catch it. No, I think they're so so pretty. 
it does say fashion and trend here which I mean you could find a little bit annoying I do find sometimes she and do just put random bits of text on their bags um, which I'm not the biggest fan of but at the same time I do think this is quite cute oh my god this next bag is this houndstooth with gold detail bag um, this strap is very very long indeed I don't really get how she's wearing it as a shoulder bag unless there's another small strap oh, no there's not I don't really understand how she's wearing it as a shoulder bag because this strap is huge I mean it's more like a crossbody bag in my opinion and this bag was £10.23 and I do like this detailing but I feel like the shape of this bag is just a bit odd is it just me like it's really really long and rectangular the actual bag feels quite nice it's like um i don't know what you call it like a tweedy material but yeah i just feel like the strap is super long so you wouldn't be able to wear it as a shoulder bag and um i'm not too sure about the shape of this bag so this next bag was five pound 85 which i actually think was i thought it would be quite good for what it was because of the size i feel like this is the kind of bag that looks better in the picture it looks better from far away too sure about it if I'm gonna be honest like the colors are unreal like beautiful like this is my kind of two-tone bag it just comes with this small handle and then you can pop open like you can pop open both sides I feel like this is so hard to show you have like a zip compartment in the middle but then also either side of the zip compartment you can put things in as well and you also get this quite nice little strap. I actually really, really like the design of this. However, I can't fault it because of the price, but it is that really, really flimsy, cheap canvassy material. Like, no part of this bag is thick. Like, everything cardboardy thin, if that makes sense. The colour's cute, but it's just, you know, I just, I'm not too sure about this one. <laughs> So this next bag, I don't think I realised what I was buying. <laughs> um, this was £5.85 and I just, same kind of issues as the last bag. Oh, it looks cuter from that side than that side. <laughs> it's just really the same kind of issues. Um, also, I'm not sure how I feel about this, these um, handles on the weird side. It is just very, very flimsy. I think it's like a two-in-one bag. You have these like poppers, and then when you unpop them, you have this little bag inside, which is quite cute. So you get a little crossbody as well. I do like that it comes with like a little bag that you can take out. I do think that's quite cute. However, it is still a flimsy bag, and as cute as this would look, like I admit, like this looks very cute on camera. Like I see you. You look cute. I'm just not too big. Again, I just don't really want a bag that feels quite cheap, if that makes sense. So this next bag is £4.39. It's this little tote bag. I must admit this actually smells really weird. It smells like super weird plastic smells. <laughs> I had high hopes when buying this, actually. I kind of thought this would just be really, really cute. Looking at it now, I don't know if it's the kind of brown that I envisioned. I'm not really sure about this shade. However, the actual, it being a tote bag, it's a lot nicer quality than the last two ones. Um, it just feels like a little bit more thicker. Do you know what I mean? Like it will actually hold things. And I do think it's quite cute and basic just for like carrying a few bits around in. So I do really like that as well. Oh my God. Wow. I was no <laughs> this is so cute i'm sorry this was nine pound fifty this is beautiful obviously the blue's a bit in the way but do you can sort of see this pearl button here and the little pearl handle i love like they've put sort of like where these flowers are and all of this it's like a mesh layer on top so it does feel quite like meshy <laughs> i'm wondering if you get a long strap it seems like you do. Oh my god, I love this chain. I don't know how you describe it. You know, like the spirally chain where it's like cylindrical, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I actually think this chain works really well uh, with the bag. It's very, very cute. Mm, I wasn't expecting such a pretty chain, actually. I'm not gonna lie, when ordering this, I kind of knew that it wasn't my style, but something about it I couldn't, I was like, I just want to see what it looks like, and 
guaranteed it is beautiful definitely not something i'm going to be keeping personally but possibly something someone else might like the next two bags are another like designer bag dupe so this first one <laughs> which oh my god i actually think i really really like it it looks like this and if you couldn't tell i oh, can't remember exactly what it's called um no i can't for the life of me remember but it's basically a dupe for the wire one of the ysl bags if it wasn't obvious and it's actually one of the ysl bags that i really like so it's kind of why i ordered it because i was like imagine like imagine if i really just think oh, i'll just have this instead i'm so surprised by this this is 12 pounds and five pence and first impressions the color is beautiful i love that it's the style of the YSL bag without you know trying to copy the logo because it's not like complete fake if that makes sense. I think I said in my first video I'm not for people trying to copy the logo like completely like completely steal the design but taking like inspiration like this but you're not actually trying to say that you're the bag the real bag. I don't see a problem with that if you don't have the money. Um, so you have uh, long straps as well but they're just tied up here so I think you can have it short and long strap like the real one as well you have two compartments inside this feels like such good quality can I just say um it's got a little popper here as well this honestly feels so thick so nice I'm really excited I honestly think I'll show you the other one as well I have a feeling I'm gonna be keeping one of these because she's really cute like she's so 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 so, so cute <laughs> then we also have it in black but i'm actually really upset about this one <sighs> it got a little bit squished in transit so it's not looking her best <laughs> it makes me actually a bit sad i don't know if you can see um over here she's got a bit squished and it's kind of really really sad i honestly possibly would have gone with the black one if it wasn't for that so this is literally the exact same bag so I'm not going to open it all up again it is the exact same bag but in black and as I said I honestly think I probably actually would have kept the black if it wasn't for this little delivery issue they obviously are very delicate like don't try and <laughs> squish it into some area because um it will I mean like any bag, let's be honest, like if you treated a designer bag like this, this the same thing would probably happen. Yeah, I just think these dupes are really, really good, like 10 out of 10, honestly. So this next bag was £6.58 and we had another issue, if you can see the back. Yeah, we had some slight squish issues. Um, you can see what I was vibing with though, this like crossbody coin purse. I thought it looked adorable. It's actually very, um, it's kind of like wickery, it's kind of what it reminds me of, if that makes any sense to you. And then you have a gold uh, chain to attach to it so you can do crossbody. It's actually quite roomy in there, I feel like you could, I mean not fit much in there, but you could fit something in there. I did love the idea of this, um, it's like a little spring summery bag, but it did get a bit squished. <laughs> okay, we're at bag, um, I don't know what bag, we're at like number 20 or something. <laughs> Next one we have is this cute little tote. This again is a dupe for something and I can't, it's something, <laughs> it's something. I'll put a picture up because I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about. I feel like this is another dupe for a bag. Uh, I just can't think of it right now. I actually really like this, you know, it's just your typical canvas tote. It is quite a small tote, so I don't know if it would be completely useful. It was only £2.20, so it's not like you're spending too much on it anyway. Um, I do really like this like brassy gold button on here as well and it's just quite a little simple tote bag. So this next bag was £4.39 and honestly the chances of me keeping this are slim to none but I just couldn't help it, I couldn't help myself. Um, it's a little white fluffy heart bag, like I'm sorry and it's got a little zip on the back. Oh no I think the, the zip on the back is how you get into it. Yeah it is. <laughs> uh, you get this gold little chain, it's not a huge amount of space, like it is, you can probably put your phone in there uh, or your wallet. I'm really, really sorry, but like, it, if it, is it even expensive? Not that bad. I mean, it is at the end of the day just a bit of faux fur 
but I did think this was adorable so I had to pick this one up. This next bag was honestly, I'm gonna say it's a fail already, um, it was £7.31. <laughs> literally what could you fit in this like a lipstick probably it i mean i do <laughs> it's quite cute isn't it it's literally just this black plastic container with a pearl strap or little carry bag there's actually a longer gold strap in there as well if you really wanted to be that bougie but yeah you really just couldn't fit anything in here it's also quite see-through it's worth saying because it doesn't look like that in the picture in the picture it looks opaque but it definitely is not so <laughs> i just don't know about that it was seven pounds and i feel like i just bought a pot so right i had to at least get one nylon shoulder bag let's be honest this was four pounds 75 honestly some of these bags i'm just like so cheap um i ended up getting it in this chocolate brown um i almost got it in black i don't know how i feel about it the um, handle is very structured. I mean, if you like a structured handle, I personally do prefer it when the handle's a bit more, has a bit more give to it. Have a decent amount of room. I'm not too sure about any of it, I'm gonna be honest. Like the silver, the black here, the color, the strap. I don't know, just feel like something's a little bit off with this bag um, and it's just not my favorite. It's there's nothing bad about it, I mean it's a nylon bag. We then have this, what's well, very similar to one of the ones I showed at the start of this video, like the Louis Vuitton style bag, I mean and it is the same sort of shape I guess. This one was £8.77 and I did just sort of think this probably was a bit more me. It does have a bit of text here at the bottom but just this colour is just obviously a little bit more wearable. I love this kind of beigey nude, I feel like it's going to be, hopefully this one comes with the long strap because the last one they forgot it they've forgotten it again i don't really understand what's going on here <laughs> it's meant to come with a long strap but it doesn't have a long strap i don't mind too much i mean i probably would wear it mainly like as a carry i do think this is very cute i'm in love with the color of this like even with this outfit i'd probably just wear it so yeah i actually really vibe with this bag i think it's quite cute oh i forgot about this bag next we have this patent shoulder bag this was £7.31 so it looks like this or oh, the handle's gone a bit mad like it's quite a long handle i actually really really like this like it's super shiny and plasticky i think actually it feels really nice i really like the shape of it actually weirdly enough the strap is very very long but at the same time it has this buckle on the side so i'm assuming i'm assuming you can just adjust that the holes go up to here so you could i guess make it into a shoulder bag i'm assuming that's what you're supposed to do not a huge amount of space either but yeah i do like that you can use the buckle to make the strap longer or shorter i do think this is actually quite a cute bag quite unique i don't think i've seen any bags like this anywhere else i feel like not a lot of people are wearing like patent bags at the moment it's all about nylon you know i do just then quickly want to go through quite a few canvas bags that i picked up the last time i did my shoe bag haul i bought a few canvas bags but i made myself return them all because i was like i don't need canvas bags but i really regretted it um so i bought like even more this time i'm determined to keep them you know i'm not going to say the prices for all of them as they all are pretty similar they all range between two to five pounds oh this makes me a little bit sad this one was my favourite design, but it just got, oh, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it looks cuter on camera actually. I absolutely love the design of this bag. However, I feel like in person, I'm just not too sure, but I did think this was very cute. I'm pretty sure this one was like one of the very cheaper ones. But yeah, I really, really love this design, but I don't know. The quality isn't there for me. We then have this one. <laughs> which is if you couldn't tell very like vincent van gogh vibes i actually really like this one and by the way what i mean by bad quality is i can already tell with this one that this is a little bit better quality than the other one i don't know if it's to do with the price but, like this one i really like i think this is really really cute just kind of want some cute canvas bags for that i'm so the kind of person that walks around with like tesco and savers bags and not that that's a bad thing but um I wouldn't mind having some cute canvas bags instead. I think this might be one I decide to keep actually because I really like this one. We then have a very similar one but for Claude Monet. I really like these star bags. I just think there's something really cute about them. Do you understand what I mean? I don't know if anyone else gets it. Maybe some people are probably gonna think I'm really, really weird. Like, 
I do just want bags of artists on, but I do really, really like them. I think I got this one in my last one. I think, <laughs> I think this is one of the ones that I regretted in my last video. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I ordered this in my last one and really regretted it. So I bought it again and honestly I'm just, I feel like I should just keep all of these because they're just so cute. Oh, I really like this one. It does have handles inside by the way, they're just, <laughs> they're just inside the bag. I love this one, it says Shakespeare and Company on it. I think that's also really, really cute. I don't know if the blue is a little bit too stark, I like to be carrying around, but at the same time I do really, really like it. Possibly prefer the other ones a little bit more. I don't remember ordering this, it says the good list. Peace is happiness, contentment is happiness, purity of heart is wealth. Lack of desire is longevity, potential cannot be exhausted, the blessing cannot be exhausted. Cheap cannot be exhausted, clever cannot be exhausted, a man's heart is narrow if he has many desires, bread if he has few. I don't really understand, <laughs> but I mean, it looks cute, let's be honest. A little barcode at the bottom as well, which I think is quite cool. Um, so yeah, I do really like that one. I probably prefer that one to the Shakespeare one. This one and the Shakespeare ones, by the way, have zips got today whereas the other ones beforehand don't but there we go that is officially the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i had a few designer bag dupes in there all together i showed a hell of a lot of bags please let me know if you enjoyed this video down below in the comments if you would like me to keep doing these because honestly it cost cost me some dollar to do these videos if you would like me to carry on doing these videos honestly i just will they're not going to be often they're going to be spaced out because I mean I need to wait for them to have new bags in. I will link all these bags down below in the description box for you and I pray, I pray that most of these are still in stock because with my second video I honestly had like the most guilty conscience because my video went live and all the bags like went out of stock and I was like I'm sorry like they weren't out of stock when I filmed this video. I don't know it's just a bit difficult I feel like. Sorry and I hope that doesn't happen for this video. If you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!